Regarding the significance of wind energy in Hong Kong, first, the CLP has proposed to build an offshore wind farm in 2006. The proposed wind farm is in the southeastern waters of Hong Kong. The project has triggered heated discussion in society, as it is the first large-scale renewable energy development in Hong Kong, and would possibly alter our energy structure. Second, it is a clean and renewable energy source. Wind energy is renewable and it causes almost no air pollution nor negative impacts on global warming. Furthermore, as there is a global trend of using renewable energy nowadays, the potential of long-term development of wind energy in Hong Kong is high. Third, wind energy creates a sustainable business environment. Being a renewable energy, wind power contributes to sustainable development of the city, which in turn creates a clean and healthy business environment. This helps attract more international corporations and foreign investors to enter Hong Kong. Fourth, wind energy creates places of leisure in Hong Kong. The HEC Lemma Island wind turbine has been a landmark and leisure area in recent years. Continual development of wind energy in the city can create more similar attractions and parks for visitors as well as local citizens. Not only will it build a positive image of Hong Kong, but it will also improve the social well-being of our people. The government supports wind energy development and has been seeking for the possibility to expand its usage in Hong Kong. However, the lack of land resources makes it difficult to develop wind energy at great scale. Second, the two power companies support and regard wind energy as their top choice for renewable energy resources. The HEC has been exploring the possibility of wind energy utilization in Hong Kong since 2000. The Lama Winds has avoided 3,000 tons of CO2 emissions and 1,250 tons of coal consumption since 2006. And HEC stresses that site selection can minimize environmental impacts. While CLP is planning to construct an offshore wind farm at the southeastern water of Hong Kong, claiming that it can double the capacity of the southwestern one. Third, green groups generally support the development of wind energy, as it is a clean and renewable energy. However, they go against the development of the southeastern offshore wind farm. Because its construction and operation may damage the nearby geoparks, ecosystem and landscape, the Greenpeace claims that the expected lifespan of wind turbines is only 20 years, which is too short and not energy efficient enough. I agree with that because wind energy is renewable and low cost. And after that, we Hong Kong don't have to buy electricity from mainland China at all. No, because uh, the use of wind energy in Hong Kong is not that cost efficient. Uh, because of lack of wind resources. First, the government should take up a more active role on policy making in order to boost wind energy development and its usage in Hong Kong. For example, the first sustainable development strategy in Hong Kong was launched in 2005. Second, it is suggested to explore more possible sites for wind farm constructions. Uh, the current sites are, uh, are not very big. In fact, there are other uh, sites in the uh, eastern part of Hong Kong water which have uh, uh, good wind potential and it could be uh, uh, used for future expansion of the current wind farm proposal. Third, the government should provide more subsidies towards wind energy development. According to our survey, majority of the public agree that more subsidies can support the cost of developing wind power technologies. Fourth, the active participation of green groups and the public can provide the government with more constructive opinions toward the long-term development of wind energy in Hong Kong for the overall benefits of society. Hong Kong government should promote the concept of low carbon economy. Uh, and uh, through uh, development of renewable energy, we also uh, remind people of our uh, responsibility to other parts of the world. In conclusion, our group supports the development of wind energy. In short term, the concepts of sustainable development and renewable energy can be promoted in society, while in long run, we can build a sustainable city.